Well guys, I have very exciting news finally after a summer of this madness. I finally, ready for it, drum roll. Have my Bentley back. Look at that sticker. Look at that sticker. The Bentley's finally been legalized and inspected and it's done. This headache is done. The whole series is done, guys. This series is actually documenting this car finally getting legalized, not the cutting. It's been like two months. Stuck this up here so I wouldn't forget it in the morning time. This is something big that I can't show you yet because it's in the works still, but this is a next huge, huge project that I'm so excited about. When the time is right, I will share with you what it is. I can't wait. So Ariana got me on a Karen Slaughter, an amazing author. I always love Stephen King. She's my next favorite. She's amazing. So she got me on to Triptych. This is the second book of the series. The first one was amazing. Think like Silence of the Lambs. It's so damn good. It was from like written from three different perspectives, big murder mystery. Like I'm hooked. And I started the second one. Love it. And the Will Trent series. Just so everyone knows. Will Trent series. That's yeah, so I tagged Karen Slaughter on Instagram saying how much I love the book, just trying to push people to her page. She actually responded to me. She noticed me, she responded, and she sent me and Ariana her unreleased book. That I it comes out August 21st. I had already pre-ordered it from the library. Oh my god! That's cool. Wow. This is really cool. What did we get? Oh, a card. To Nick and Ariana, compliments of Karen. Enjoy. That's wow. cool. Pieces of her. This isn't even out yet. Yeah, it comes out in like three weeks. She's my absolute favorite author. It just, this is like the coolest thing in the world. Another cool thing is I got a new six pack bag I lost mine ages ago. This one's the backpack. These are pretty dope. It has a, a laptop holder in it. It has a front compartment that actually carries like a little lunch box that I just took out and has Tupperware with it. It has a little front pocket for your valuables and then inside is, inside's cool. Look at that interior. It's all weightlifters and stuff. That's really cool. So, like I said, today's a beach day. That Tupperware is mine too, babe. Where? Right oh. there. And the chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, I legitimately just got this because I needed a new one. I know you guys don't like things being sold to you, so I just left it at that. But um, this company, Six Pack Bags, did ask me if you guys wanted a discount code. I told them I'd leave it up to you guys. I don't want to shove nothing down your throat. So you guys let me know the discount in the discounts. In the comments below, if you guys want a discount code, just let me know. And uh, if, you, if I get a bunch of comments for it, I'll get a discount code for you guys. If not, I'll shut the fuck up. So it is the first week of August. Oh shoot, I gotta pay my mortgage. And we have not gone to the beach once all summer like not like a real public beach which is not like us at all we, like we usually live at the beach this is the ocean state this state is horrible economically absolute dumpster and the people running it are running it deeper into the ground but the one good benefit it has is in the summertime it is the best state to live in it's the ocean state for a reason it's all beaches so today we're finally Finally taking advantage of it and going to a beach called Windjammers, which is down in Westerly, Rhode Island. If you guys ever visit, it's awesome. There's a really big tourist attraction called Patty's, Patty's Beach. And you go to it and there's like a bar, there's sometimes music, there's a bunch of lounges and it's right on the beach. It's a really good time, but it's really expensive because it's a tourist trap. But if you just go all the way down that beach, I don't know how many, a mile, two miles, three miles down that, down that beach, there's a place called Windjammers, and it's it's identical twin basically, but it's not as known, so the prices are not marked up. So it's like very affordable, and it's so much fun. How real quick? What's up, dude? What's up, man? Got Greg from New York. All the way. Around. How nice is Rhode Island in summer? I love it here. Told you guys, it's good in the summertime. So I'm rolling with the series I was already reading because I was already invested in it. Really freaking good. I can't wait to start the new one. Yay! I'm this so author is amazing. Yeah, she's. She's my absolute favorite. Everything she writes is just gold. She never disappoints. It's nice because I know I can pick up one of her books and they usually all have similar structure, but they always are a different story and they're told in like just a different way. She's incredible. I really look up to her. Really good. I, I, it's hard for me to get invested in a book. I get distracted really easily. So that's saying a lot. Ariana's mom packed the sandwiches, including me. And she knows I track, 
so she makes sure to save all the labels to everything she uses so I can track it in my fitness pal. She's awesome. She's the best. She is. She's a better mom than I could ever be. California would be my next option of where to live because of the weather. But the one thing Rhode Island beats California in is in the summertime, the water's warm enough to swim in. That's, that's, a, big, that's a big advantage right there. It's beautiful. How many pages did you read today? What did you start at and what did you end at? Um, I started at 10 and I ended at 175 today. <laughs> And did you read at a normal pace or did you feel more distracted? I feel like I was really distracted today. How long were we there? Like 11 to 4.30? They were a good, good amount of time. I yeah, read, I could have done like a lot more than that. I also started at page 10. I was on page 11 actually. And I got to page 58. That's good though. That's called being human. That's You're psycho. That's psycho. Who reads as fast as you? No one. It's not normal. Who? 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 No one. It's, uh, it's like five. It's like a, uh, it's almost six. It's almost six? We we escapade, the, we left at 4.30, but there's beach traffic like crazy, so. Fuck this shit on Mel. Mm -hmm. Fuck this shit on Mel. All right, then. Don't mind me. I'ma, I'ma just, just grab, grab my stuff, stuff and leave. leave. Fuck this shit, shit on Mel. Mm -hmm. That's how, what we did at the beach at 4.30. And they got hit with traffic. Yeah, and we were there until like after five. And then we weren't out. No, so we're still not out, kind of. We're still in the car. So the reason I got leopard print sheets was because in my mind I figured if I had some wild colorful goofy pattern like this you can never be in a bad mood try being in a bad mood in leopard print sheets you can't it's not possible but I've had these for like two years now and it's finally time to upgrade a little bit to bamboo sheets these are made with real bamboo I have no clue how that works but they are the softest sheets I've ever touched they're a lot more tame than my leopard print but a lot softer so nice these were sent to me courtesy of Nest Bedding, the same brand I got this mattress from. So thank you, Nest Bedding. That's an amazing gift. And now, ugh, it's time to Xbox and go to bed. Good night. See you in the morning.